well good morning and welcome back to my channel this is dr will and just another little update on my lovely lexus uh, sorry it's been a little while um, but just to bring you up to date everything is going well she passed her mot uh, two days ago so i was really thrilled about that just one little advisory uh, was the number plate light um, the number plate bulb everything else i had back in march when i bought the car the exhaust the brakes the discs all been sorted and she sailed through so i was thrilled about that really really pleased so i had a little issue recently again with the battery uh, the battery went dead and i worked out what the problem was was i'd left the auto lights on for two days and that's obviously a real battery drain so just take note um, previously to that i've been using her every day two days three days the most i've left her is eight days and she started on the key straight away so the only thing i changed was the um was the you know the auto lights um so i'm just on a um i'm just on a road trip today uh, which is why i'm doing this video i'm on my way down to um dorset to see my from my chiropractor um, i'm on the a31 at the moment um been a bit of a miserable day but it's uh, brightened up a little bit here but I always love to come down in the Lexus because it's such a lovely uh, lovely drive still so what have I got to what issues have I got the only issue I've got at the moment as far as I'm aware of is the um, well other than the, the reluctor rings which I still haven't done uh, the other issue is um, is an airlock in the radiator now you may remember I had the radiator changed about um, maybe two or three months ago and I think there's an airlock there's an airlock in there and there's some gurgling there's some bubbling and there's some swishing noise uh, the worst case scenario could be the head gasket on the way out but I think it's just an airlock it hadn't been bled properly so I'm doing what I can to to correct that obviously keeping an eye on the temperature gauge uh, but other than that she's running really really well and just another quick thing to add about the battery. Um, I bought, on the recommendation of some of the guys on the uh, forum, a fantastic battery pack. It's a little portable power bank which can jumpstart a battery up to six litre. Uh, it's amazing. You charge it up and I think you can do about five or ten jump starts. I use that one time. You can charge your computer, your phone, it's got a torch on there, warning lights, everything on there, and I think it keeps its charge. So I'll post a link to that. It was just under £50, so very, very pleased. So that's a bit of a life support machine. So this is just a short video just to bring you up to date. I hope you're all well, enjoying your SC430s, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.